So apparently, this wood finish by my mate Scotty is so good, you can eat it. Tastes like glue. On the plus side, I'm not dead yet. Ah. G'day fixers. Six months ago, I picked up myself my very first hand planes. They're the Melbourne Tool Company ones from Timbercon, and I have been loving learning how to use them. However, this is also, I think, the first cast iron thing that I have had in the shop. And just the other week, I noticed something interesting. Russ. Very, very small amounts of surface rust. It's not really pitting yet or anything like that. I kind of live close to the coast and it's been very damp lately. So this is probably to be expected. So today what I want to do before that turns into pitting or something worse is take my custom grip from Scotty at Scott's Custom Creations and treat the existing surface rust on here very easily with a few simple tools. Let's see how you can do that. And quick note, this will also work on all of your cast iron tops on your machines too, if you have them. So of course we're gonna need our custom creations step one and step two. Honestly, the step two is probably overkill. Just step one will do, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this all the way. Same with the sandpaper. I'm starting at 600, then going through 800 and 1000, and then I'm gonna finish off the polishing stage with some 4-0 steel wool. With your step one and two, make sure you've got a different piece of rag for application and then some cleaner rag to wipe off the excess between uses. Here is my number five jack plane. And as you can see, it has got this beginnings of rust on the side. We're gonna remove most of that rust with the 600 grit. So this is where you have to do the bulk of the work. I go with the milling marks on there so I don't introduce any new scratches. And then once you're happy, you've got rid of the vast majority of that surface rust, step up through your grits, the 800, the 1000, and the steel wool, just tear off a little bit. There's a bit of conflicting information of what grit-ish 4.0 steel wool is, but it's gonna be around about the 1500, 2000 mark. When you're done, it should look like this. I'll put some nice before and after photos right at the end. But while that has removed the rust, we are now going to further polish that up, but also protect our iron from rusting again. This is where the custom grit comes in. Yes, it's usually used as a wood polish, but it has so many other uses as well. The step one is rated at about 50,000 grit, and the step two is at about 100,000 grit. So you see here, the step one is taking a lot of black iron off there. That's probably cleaning up the sandpaper a little bit. So it's very important to remove that before moving on to the step two. And after you've applied the step two, you'll still see it is taking off a little bit of black using its microfine abrasives. Then just keep polishing it with a clean rag until there's no more black stuff coming off and you're done. But this is not so much about making it shinier, although it will help the planes glide over your wood much more nicely. It's more about the protection. There are waxes and other natural oil components in the step one and step two, which are going to stick to the surface of your metal and prohibit it from rusting quickly in the future. So hopefully once we've done this and brought it to a beautiful, lovely shine, we shouldn't have to do this too terribly often. Oh, look at that mirror finish. And that was sped up a little bit, but honestly, the whole plane only took a couple of minutes to do. On another note, the solid brass components, I just went straight to the step two and use that to give them a wee bit of a polish because while we're making it look pretty, we might as well do that as well. Number five, all done. Stepped over to the block plane and you can see there that slight discoloration, the blackening on the cast iron sections. Are these cast iron or are they steel? I don't actually know. They're bloody heavy metal, but you get the picture. They're machined milled metal and the block plane got the same treatment, brought up nice and shiny. These have been recently sharpened, but I will point out, even having used them a little while ago compared to today, how it glides over the wood just feels so smooth and lovely. This is only a piece of pine, but I actually noticed the difference having polished up the base of how much smoother these things slide over the timber. Fantastic. That's 
that's looking pretty. I know these are tools, and look, I have dropped this one on the floor. I do use them, I do abuse them. They'll get dinted, they'll get dented, they will get a little bit rusty. But with the help of my custom grit here from Scotty, they're looking lovely and can go back in their home. On the display till. So head down to Carpetec, there are links below. I am an affiliate for them. And there you can pick up some of your step one, step two. And Scotty's got a whole range of products actually. Hashtag not sponsored. He's just a mate of mine and I love what he does. He's a chemist and chemists are the best, right? My planes are looking nice and shiny. And if I ever do get some more cast iron in here, it'll get the same treatment. Till the next one, fix the fingers out. Catch you then.